fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 193 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Pilarda Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just misses there with the left. Head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Just misses with the jab there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch land over the top. Back and forth we go. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick land. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Sneaky head kick. A oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by the Korean Super Bowl. Right hand punch to the clinch. Trying to kick the leg out. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Connects with the right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big call from punch land. Now he gets back in range. Oh. 
Head off the center line, slips the punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Single collar tie now. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Wow, what a kick! Left hand punch with the play. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. All right, single collar tie now. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Big head kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right lands. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Missed with that right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. We expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight right hand, no good. Nice defense there, huge block. Digging kick. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Choi. Oh, Calvin. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Great punch. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Landed a good uppercut there. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Single collar tie. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. That's a big strike right there. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He 
really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Nice leg kick. Nice straight punch. And both guys really... Oh. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Punch over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice loop and punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just missed with the left there. He engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big leg kick land. Right hand on point. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Again, they clinch. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. He should right hook attempt, but it's no good. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. 
Choi gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Choi's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch here. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Got flip with the right hand. He lands a switch knee. That punch, no good. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice one, two there. Oh, big Superman punch there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Punch is blocked. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Takedown defense holds up. Wow. Huge knee lands for the clinch. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Single collar tie there. Big kick lands. Checks the leg kick. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands through the middle. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, single collar tie now. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Now a knee to the body. Back and forth we go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Great Hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Oh, nice jab. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Head kick, that's a miss. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Head kick lands. Now he touches him with the left. Real sneaky body kick. 
Yeah, he's mixed it all up. position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Beautiful strike. Oh, collar tie. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> when I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents don't walk in the room and watch you guys be that fatigued. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Learn to play the game. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Liver kick. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his butt? Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big right hand, yes. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. He blocks the punch. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, big punch land. is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. 15 seconds. Straight right hand counter. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets...